What's up, everybody? Caleb Dennison here with Luke Larson. How you doing, Luke? Great. I'm what, excited for this. What is this big thing? It's huge. This is something special. This is the HP Omen X Imperium 65. A big format gaming display. I've learned that's an acronym that's kind of a thing. Yes, it Outside is. Outside of like TV world and gaming world, it's yes. a BFGD. I would just call it a big ass uh, gaming monitor, I guess. That is really what it is. Um, but the reason why we have you here is because, and the reason why we're standing in here is because this thing really does belong in a living room. It's right. 65 inches. It's meant to take the place of a conventional TV. Right, so. which is weird because TVs right now are starting to tread into gaming monitor territory with like variable refresh rate. And this, I, I don't know, the, the lines are blurred. But you know what, this box is huge. I'm hoping it's ready to go right out of the box. I do have a screwdriver really just so. in case we have to put uh, the base on it or something like that. Um, but before we get to cutting tape, I'm hoping we can avo uh, avoid this. Let's undo oh, all okay. these clips. Yeah, let's do and the clips. Pull them out and see if we can't just lift the top of the box off. Um, so while we're doing this, um, what's special about this besides the fact that it costs five thousand dollars? Yeah, um, that's a special in its own way. But the <laughs> the real special thing is that this is the first. Um, of its kind in NVIDIA's big format gaming display series of um, monitors and basically TVs. So and school me, I, NVIDIA, I mean, they're the ones who have the rights to G-Sync, right? Exactly, G-Sync okay. is their, um, their technology and basically they're trying to move into the TV space with, you know, these series of new NVIDIA sponsored displays. Okay, I'll bring this over here. Well, I'm thrilled to see that we have a box within a box. <laughs> okay, yes. so that's the thing. Um, this is not gonna be as easy as we thought. No, it's not. Um, actually, in this box is labeled soundbar, so. Um, there might be some assembly. There might be a little bit of assembly. Should we cut some, cut some stuff Let's up? Let's definitely cut some things up. Okay. Okay, so like with TVs right now, what I'm seeing like Samsung, for instance, their QLED TV line, offers variable refresh rate through FreeSync. That's not the same as G-Sync. Right, that's AMD's um, AMD's thing, which is much more easily available. It's the most widely used. AMD will tell you it's the most widely used. Um, Let's um, just set this down okay. in front for now. <laughs> this cocoon of foam is serious. Let's run this Okay, over. we're almost to the part where you can actually see a uh, TV. Uh, you mean a big or, format I, gaming I mean, display? A big format gaming display. <laughs> uh, so there's a Shield remote in here. Yes. That's something else that makes it special? For I sure. So NVIDIA Shield, that's their kind of smart um, TV slash gaming um, software that they have both, they sell separately and uh -huh. now they're including them in, built into systems like this. So basically, what you're getting is a the equivalent of a smart TV, you know? Because wow. what good would a display be like this if you set it up in your living room and you couldn't watch Netflix or right. whatever on it? So. Exactly, yeah, it's got to function like a smart TV would. Exactly. So that looks like a mount. This I is guess. a very heavy, sturdy metal mount. We're going to have to uh, figure out how to put that together. Yep. Uh, so I just opened this box. It looks like they're giving us an HDMI cable. Um, but they're also giving us a display port cable as well. So we've got both of those happening. Uh, and then some hardware. Yep, we're definitely doing some uh, screwing doing in. Doing some stuff. screws. A really stout cable for the display, I assume, <laughs> and then a much smaller uh, power cable in here for what I assume is gonna be the, uh, the sound bar. Um, let's get to the uh, cool part. Yeah, let's get to the, the good stuff here. There's another mount over here. You know, I felt like for a box this big that maybe they would do some assembly for you, but I guess they just really wanted to pad it. I mean, I unbox a lot of TVs. I've never seen uh, this quality of foam and so much of it, so thick <laughs> of foam. Yeah, and like I said, this is, so this is the first of its kind and this is really the, we saw this briefly at CES, um, but this is our first time obviously having it in the office and um, it's going, it's for sale now. So it just went on sale and it's just now becoming available. Nice um, peel job, by the way. Thank you. That wasn't the best, but um, as you can see, some of the stuff, you know, 65 inches, it's 4K. Um, it's got the fast response time. 
It's obviously G-Sync. They have uh, an insignia on the box that says HDR 1000. Let's, you know what, let's scooch this back a little bit. Um, let's pull it out and carefully lay it on its face right here. Okay. We've got nice, well-padded carpet. And holy Toledo. Okay. When's the last time you heard somebody <laughs> under the age of 70 say, holy Toledo? <laughs> right here, you guys. Um, wow. So we'll have a look at the back side of the TV here. It looks like um, we should be able... How does this work? Hmm. <laughs> I see a lot of screws. Yeah, okay, a lot of so holes. These, this goes in like that, like yep. that. Yep. And we've got two, two large screws. All right, I'm just gonna put this thing up on its end very carefully again. You got your own screwdriver there? Came with a... Uh, oh, an Allen wrench, okay. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, so, I mean, these really are stout, and I think that's important because this is a heavy freaking monitor. I noticed it said HDR 1000 on it, which, um, if I'm decrypting the logo correctly, means it does a 1,000 nits peak luminance, which in the TV world is very respectable. I mean, you definitely get a real HDR experience out of that. Right. I'm interested to see how the black levels are because contrast is nothing without solid black levels. Right, and that's really like the, you know, this thing is not just competing against um, a gaming monitor. Like this has to be as good as a really high-end expensive TV, right? If it's right. gonna replace one in your living room. Well, I can get a, I can get a, a 65 inch LG OLED um, this year for I would I would guess is going to be around between twenty seven hundred and thirty five hundred dollars, and that's an OLED, which right. is going to be freaking beautiful. And this is not perfect response time. This is not. This is an LED LCD based TV, which you know that's not bad. It's just not um, as impressive as OLED. Of course, with static imagery you do risk a little bit of burn-in with OLED. So if you're gaming with the same head-up display all the time. Um, all right, or, so the stand is on. I think, yeah. So this is an interesting sort of angular sound bar. I'm glad to see that they included this because, I mean, wow, check this out. We've got some passive bass radiators on the back. These could be active, actually. Uh, but they're the flat um, radi uh, radiators, uh, bass trans transducers. Uh, so this, this has potential. I mean, I don't know who did the d sound design on this, but it definitely has some potential. Right. And it doesn't look to me like, um, as we figure this out live, um, it doesn't look to me like it mounts. So there's a couple of here. mounts here. Separate mounts. I don't All know right. where these go, but I think we can probably... You know what, for the sake of this video, I think that we can just place this in front of the TV. Yeah. Um, it may or may not block the Omen logo. That sounds like sacrilege, but we're gonna have to <laughs> give that a shot. All right, I'm gonna set this aside for now. All right, we got our uh, work cut out for us here. Let's slowly go b uh, back down onto its face. Okay. And then we will pick it up from here. Now let's... Uh, I was gonna peel this guy. Yeah. Slowly, slowly, G yeah. gently. Now you may get hung off down there at the bottom because that's kind of integrated with the side panels. Okay. We're getting there. Yep, we're, we're making a there. mess. That's all right, it's worth it. All right, let's do a little do -si do here. It's a square dance move. Again, I'm 60 years old. <laughs> all right, let's take these guys off. Oh, it's coming together. That looks like a TV. Sure does. It's got a good amount of anti-reflective on it. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Uh, we talked about the ports. There's an ethernet jack, um, which I suppose is for the shield built into it, right? Access Netflix, uh, do your online gaming, streaming. There is no tuner. So if you wanted to do over the air broadcast, that's not happening. I don't see that being a problem for most people who are shooting to purchase this thing. Yeah. Um, 
And then we've got display port, a couple of USBs, and three HDMI inputs. So that's respectable. I mean, if you're running your gaming rig off a of display port, then I, I would imagine three HDMIs would be plenty. Right, and you also got two USB-A ports over here. So the remote, let's get in tight on this sucker. Get rid of the uh, scissors there. Mm -hmm. Just toss that aside. Oh. A mic button, some nav keys. That is a really simple remote. But yeah, voice control. I honestly didn't expect to see that. Interesting. All right, so we're getting there. Have you used an NVIDIA Shield before? I have once, okay. yeah. And, and just for, for basic product testing. And, um, you know, I mean, it's an interesting premise. Yeah, and one of the things it has is uh, support for GeForce Now, which is a kind of a game streaming. Um, I'm not getting any power back here. Yeah, I'm wondering about that myself. <laughs> okay, wait. Time out, time out. Uh, so we're gonna skip ahead because we ran into a bunch of technical hurdles um, that took us a long time to get through. We were dancing around this TV trying to figure out why it wouldn't come on and in the process of actually turning the uh, sound bar right side up, we had it upside down, that was my fault, uh, and slipping it under the TV, which I mean, it looks really great now. Uh, we discovered that there was a master power switch sitting right next to the power port back here, totally hidden, had no idea it was there. I'm sure if we read the manual, we would have figured that out. But um, after dancing around for a little while, wondering why this gorgeous display wouldn't turn on, we figured it out. So it now works, I'm going to turn it on now. Uh, we're pulling up Battlefield 5. We're gonna start this mission here. It's a beautiful game, I mean, and it just looks really great on this TV. And we have HDR going on right now. But I will say my first impression's really good. Like, um, I think it, it looks great. Uh, and I know it's a great looking game, but you can tell where the display's weak, weak points would be. It definitely has the, the potency for HDR. The, the motion was great. You didn't experience any lag. No, 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 That's very a good. very good start as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Same. Well, thanks for joining us. That was uh, an interesting process, but it always is with something this big and this complicated and you're tying in a gaming PC. Uh, thanks for watching with us. Uh, and we look forward to showing you more of this guy in future videos. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us and watching. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button. You can hit the unlike button if you want to. Definitely subscribe. And uh, while you're here, there's a couple of other videos you might want to check out right over here. And make sure to stay tuned because we do have the full review of this monitor that will be coming soon with a video and a full review on the website. So make sure to check out that when it comes. DigitalTrends.com. We'll see you on the next one.